ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Sports Saturday. I'm Charles Fisher. We're coming to you from the Mecca, the AF Alley Gym. No, it's not about basketball, but the Bahamas Table Tennis Federation. The sport has been played here in the Bahamas for over 40 years, and to that end, the Bahamas Table Tennis Federation has brought in international instructor Richard McAfee to help teach the sport with a one-day tournament here at the gym. They basically have had like one-day exposure in their class, so they are novices. We just wanted them to come and have some fun today and to see a little bit what it looks like in a more, a little more professional setup. Um, there's a lot of talent in the Bahamas, a lot of athletic talent in the Bahamas. So we're hoping some kids find it enjoyable and want to get involved. Or ever having been in existence for over 40 years, the Bahamas has just now seeking the expertise of the international body. The Bahamas Federation just joined the International Federation about four months ago. So this is the first opportunity we've had to reach out and support the Bahamas Table Tennis Federation. So I've been here a couple times. I'm finishing up my second visit. And we were looking for a way of bringing some youth into the sport in the Bahamas. We have a, a long-standing group of older players, and we wanted to get some kids. So we're putting it into all the high schools in, in Nassau area. We've donated equipment to all the schools, and we've trained all the PE teachers. So this is uh, sort of a fun event to get things kicked off a little bit. We moved now to volleyball from last night at the Donald Davis Gym, where it was all about the ladies. In the end, it was a hard-fought fourth set with the Lady Techs having to hold off the youthful University of the Bahamas Mingos in four sets, 25-17, 15-25, 25-12, and 25-23. We played good. We could have been better, but we got we put off a win. We just try to play our game, play Techs game, trying to limit up the mistakes that we play on the court and then try to do our best. That's all. We didn't bother the crowd because the crowd didn't face us. We just come and play ball. I feel like in the beginning we more was anxious of the game versus of what we actually do know. But throughout the game I think we did a good play but we were beating ourselves a lot. We move to the Roscoe Davis soccer field where Western Warriors are preparing for the upcoming Bahamas Football Association season. Saskia Diagula, one of the club founder and president. It was started with a very small group of boys who were 12, 13, and 14, and then we started in the western part of New Providence. Um, at that time, there were a lot of school-based programs that kind of ended at age 12, and we found the void um, on the western part of the island in terms of some of the older kids being able to find um, a suitable club uh, where the pe parents didn't have to get at 5, uh, 5 a.m. and drive east. Now this team consists of a very diverse group of players. One of our missions right from the start has been to really uh, drill into neighborhoods where children really don't have a chance to participate in competitive sports and we found that it's not only benefit the team greatly because some of these kids have just such natural raw talent and such drive to succeed but it's uplifted the children because they make great friends and all socioeconomic strata society um, they actually do better in school as a result of this rigorous program because they learn a new level of discipline and we have children on this team from every walk of life we have you know, a few kids who live in Cowpen Road in, in, you know, housing that I really wouldn't consider ideal. We have people who live in multi-million houses in, in Old Fort and everything in between. We have 12 nationalities on this team. We have, in addition to, of course, lots of Bahamians and Haitian Bahamians. We have Jamaicans. We have Chileans. We have Brazilians. We have from Panama. We've had from Switzerland, from Italy. Um, Colombia. So it's a very international program. And again, the children, they benefit so much from that diversity. And before we go tonight, we'd like to say congratulations to John Quirrell Jones. She was named to the All-WNBA second team. A very good season for her. Her first All-Star. She now has the record for the most rebounds on the season, 403. And also led the league in rebound, 11.9. With a second sophomore season for John Quirrell. Second team, WNBA All-Team. And that's going to put a cap on Sports Saturday. I'm Charles Fisher. Thanks for watching, everybody.